Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the Avid Tent Camper again. Today, I want to talk about small, three-person, two-person, and one-person tents. These small tents are primarily designed for backpacking, but also are good choices for motorcycle, small sports car, and bicycle trips that are no longer than a few nights. Their small floor space and low peak height help to keep their pack size very small. But these tents are too small and uncomfortable for long-term fixed family base camps. When shopping for a small tent, avoid cheap generic tents sold in discount department stores and sporting goods stores because they typically have thin fiberglass poles that can easily break, especially in cooler weather, unsealed seams that frequently leak, thin fabrics that easily tear, poor quality zippers that quickly fail, and poorly sewn seams that easily unravel and rip apart. Although these tents are economically priced, they rarely last more than 20 camping trips or five years. Look for tents that are made by good quality makers. Although these tents will be priced higher, they will easily last more than 20 years if treated with basic care and dried after each use. Coleman, Kelty, and Eureka make lower priced tents that include basic features such as strong fiberglass or aluminum poles, durable materials, good quality zippers, and factory sealed seams. Mountain Hardware, REI, Marmot, Sierra Designs, L.L. Bean, The North Face, and several other companies make more expensive tents that include basic features plus additional features that enhance overall comfort. A few of these good quality tents can be found in local outfitting stores, but most have to be ordered from online retailers, such as REI, Backcountry.com, and Campmore. Before proceeding, let's define these small tents. Three-person tents typically measure about six feet wide by seven and a half feet long by four feet high. They have about 46 square feet of floor space, which is barely large enough for three average-sized men to lie flat on their backs. These tents typically weigh about six pounds. Some have two doors on the side, while others have a larger door at the front. Two-person and one-person tents are even smaller and are designed primarily for backpacking, but they may be necessary for motorcycle riders and small sports car drivers that have very limited packing space. Now let me discuss 10 different small tent designs. Tunnel tents or hoop tents would be my first choice for a small tent because they pack into a small space but offer considerable interior living space plus good storm stability. They're usually constructed as non freestanding tents with two or three short flexible poles that bend over and across the width of the tent. They tend to be very well ventilated, making them good choices for hot and rainy weather. These tents have been popular in Europe for many years, but have not been widely adopted in the United States. Examples available here in the United States include the MSR Dragon Tail 2, shown in this photo, the Marmot Starlight, and the Eureka Spitfire. A-frame tents are also good choices for hot and rainy weather. 
because they are exceptionally well ventilated and long enough to accommodate tall campers. The primary disadvantage of these A-frame tents is their steep, sloped walls that reduce living space and overall comfort. Two examples of this design are the Eureka Timberline 2 shown in this photo and the Big Agnes Scout 2UL. Three-season backpacking dome tents are great choices for multi-day backpacking trips because they are designed to stand up to strong storms that can develop in the backcountry. They are also well suited for cool weather family camping trips because their waterproof fly holds in heat. But many have steep sloped walls that reduce interior space and overall comfort. They can also be uncomfortably warm in hot summer weather and develop condensation in rainy weather. The best dome tents have aluminum poles near vertical walls that increase interior living space and full coverage rain flies. Some examples of these tents inc include the Marmot Limelight, the North Face Storm Break, and the Kelty Trail Logic TN3. The second best dome tents are simple domes with two aluminum poles and full coverage rain flies, such as this Kelty Gunnison 3.3 and the REI Camp Dome 2. More economical dome tents, such as this Eureka Sunrise 3, have fiberglass poles. And the most economical dome tents, such as this Coleman Sun Dome 3, have fiberglass poles and small rain hoods rather than full coverage rain flies. Expedition dome tents, also called four season dome tents, such as this North Face VE-25, are popular with mountain climbers and cold weather campers, but would be poor choices for basic uh, tent camping families. Most are priced above $400, require considerable setup and striking time, and are poorly ventilated for hot summer weather. Hybrid hoop tents such as this MSR Mother Hubba 3, have emerged as the latest tent design. They're constructed with short, flexible hoop-type poles that are combined with hubs, flexible center ridge poles, and ultralight fabrics to create freestanding tents that weigh less than 5 pounds. Although they're very popular with backpackers, they would be poor choices for modern tent camping families because they are extremely cramped and typically cost more than $300. Wheelin tents are popular with historical reenactors but would be poor choices for modern tent camping families because they are heavy, they require excessive packing space, they're smoky, and they provide virtually no protection from mosquitoes, spiders, skunks, and driving rain. Furthermore, maintaining a fire all day and all night requires considerable time and effort that could be spent enjoying various recreational activities. Bivy sacks are ultra-small single-person shelters that provide a little space around the head, but almost no space around the body, legs, and feet. They may be necessary for backpacking and bicycle travel, but are too small for modern family tent camping trips. Pyramid tents, such as this Black Diamond Mega Light, reduce weight and packing space by eliminating mosquito netting and floor 
and by using a trekking pole instead of a dedicated aluminum pole to hold it up upright. Although it may be adequate for some backpacking trips, they are not suited for families that want a substantial shelter that will protect them from storm, bugs, mosquitoes, and dirt found in most locations. Many people are now talking about using hammocks instead of tents as their primary shelter, but hammocks have several limitations. Most notably, many campsites in state and federal parks do not have two or three trees suited for hanging hammocks, and Florida state parks prohibit hammocks in most locations. Thus, having a hammock would greatly reduce travel options. Furthermore, hammocks are cool, awkward, and uncomfortable. I suggest that you take them for daytime napping, but plan to sleep in a good tent at night. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about small tents in this video. I plan to talk about mid-sized tents in another video and large tents in a third video. For more information about tents, please visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com, and read my recent book titled Basic Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.